My husband was a CEO. His name is Wiley Bradford. And he was a CEO at Monsanto in the genetic seed division. But now he has his own genetic seed company called Splice. Do you know that genetically engineered foods actually give you two or three foods in one? When you cross an apple with a peanut, okay? You've got two foods. These people say they're hungry, okay? They're hungry, but they don't want to eat genetically engineered foods, and they could get, they're getting two foods in one. They can spend a lot less money for food. Do you get it? Have you ever seen an organic carrot after it's left out of the fridge for a few days? No, I haven't. Well, it's old, it's wrinkled, it's flaccid, it's very unappetizing. Now, you take that same carrot, you give it a little BHT, some sodium difluconol, a shot of floroflagell, and a little yellow number five, and that carrot could last up to a year. Now, if it can do that for a carrot, a vegetable, just think what it can do for your body. I said, Wiley, I don't know what you're gonna use because Monsanto has the patent on most of the, you know, genetically engineered things. So he said, oh, don't worry, Gwen, I have something better. And he said, well, what do we have on this earth that you can't wipe out no matter what you do? I said, I don't know. He said, roaches, Gwen, cockroaches. He said, I'm gonna, splice everything with cockroach genes. And think about it, they live a long time and it's very hard to wipe them out. People are gonna have longer lives, they're gonna be immune to a lot of sicknesses with the cockroach genes. And this is all accomplished through food? That's right. If you cross a piece of celery with a cockroach gene, if you cross a potato with a cockroach gene, it, it makes the food invulnerable. No. No animal or rodent can get to that food. If they do, they choke and die. 